brothers, sisters. This is the time to build our nation. All of the whites are cheering for South Africa. All of the blacks are cheering for England. How long before the World Cup? Don't get your hopes up. We're a damn disgrace. Hi, I'm Lulu Malik, Chief Film Critic of the New York Post, here with a review of Invictus. Thanks to excellent performances by Morgan Freeman as Nelson Mandela and a buffed up Matt Damon, as well as Eastwood's old school storytelling expertise, this movie depicts an unlikely intersection of sports and leadership in ways that manage to be inspiring and insightful without ever becoming schmaltzy or preachy. The story takes place during a few months in 1995 when South African President Mandela, like another president you may have heard of, was struggling to unite a badly divided country. Mandela shocks even his closest advisors when he decides to become the country's biggest booster of the Springboks, the national rugby team beloved by the white African minority that had brutally ruled the country through decades of apartheid. At the same time, the Springboks, with one black player, were seen by the black majority as a symbol of apartheid, with Mandela supporters even trying to disband the team before he stepped in. A pragmatist who had closely studied the Afrikaners during his 27 years as a political prisoner, Mandela realized that humiliating his former enemies would only further destabilize the country. Mandela finds an improbable ally when he reaches out to the team's apolitical captain, Francois Pignard, an excellent Damon, who only wants to turn around his perennially losing squad and orders the team to tour shanty towns where black kids prefer soccer to rugby. So I'm giving Invictus three and a half stars out of four. I'm the Luminic, and you can find my reviews at nypost.com.